Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for October 3rd, 2021. I have some neighbors outside. Um, I can hear them very, very clearly. I never know what's going to pick up on the mic until I sit down and edit. Uh, so in case you hear their big mouths out there, <laughs> I said it. There's no reason, especially when you're outside of somebody else's door, there's no reason for you to have a loud conversation. I'm just saying. Be more aware of our fellow humans, right? We need to do that more. Oh, 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 okay. We've got two cards today. Here we go. Oh, three cards, excuse me. Bring love into the situation, new moon in Aquarius, okay? Um, and if you say, well, see, that means you need to be more loving to your neighbors. I am being loving by not going out there and telling them to shut up. Can you hear them? I mean, it's like they're standing on my balcony. It's really weird. Uh, communication is key. New moon in Gemini, I guess. Watch how you put stuff, right? And emotions are running high. Super moon. So, you know, it's funny. We are trying to be very, very loving and making sure we're communicating in a way that is appropriate because emotions are running high. So there, there's a lot of pull here. And we're talking about super moon, full moon. You know, that's talking tides. We were talking the East Coast of the United States. West Coast, you got to watch it too. I'm telling you, like we're due for a major, I almost said hurricane um because it's hurricane season <laughs> earthquake on that side so just be careful there and of course going down into mexico as well alaska i feel like you're gonna get nailed with something but again it's these are not revolutionary ideas i mean this stuff happens all the time so when we were talking about if you're in a bad situation how you can communicate properly or um just trying to I guess just take a, take a beat, take a moment. As I said, you know, I'm not usually somebody who goes out and yells at loud neighbors and says, well, you shut up. You know, I'm not one of those people, but um, I would go outside and be like, excuse me, I'm trying to film. Do, do you mind just kind of keeping it down? But I'm just gonna let them do their thing. Who knows? They, this is me bringing love into the situation. <laughs> Michelle, you are no saint. I know, but like, I don't know if you heard that too. Okay, like people, listen. Again, that may not have picked up on the mic, but my whole wall just rattled because someone is, someone just slammed their door. So emotions are running high. People are short circuiting. All right. And this is where as, as irritated as we might get, okay, or whatever, it's not even that irritating. I'm used to it. I've lived in apartments since I was an adult. <laughs> so I'm used to sharing walls, but I think that it, it, it is kind of interesting that all these things are kind of occurring as we're filming this. So we're going to have to figure out a way to be more diplomatic about stuff, but you can also put an energy behind that as well, because I think we are going to see people just not caring, just not thinking of others. Also look at where people are using one another. See, that's another way that a lot of toxic people kind of get through is that they're like, look, I'm doing all of these things for you, but there are things that it didn't take much effort for them. It wasn't that big a deal. And they're buttering you up so that they can take advantage of you later. Now I'm going to ask you for a really big thing that might interrupt your life, right? Um, and if you don't do it, then you're of no worth to me. So these are all those things where we're cutting the toxic people out. Try not to do it with judgment, but be ready, I think, especially today for people to be, um, I feel like people might be short circuiting. We'll have to see what's happening throughout the week. I record these ahead of time, but um it might not even be like a grandiose thing that is happening. Again, I don't know what's going to happen. It might not even be a grandiose thing, but you just find that people don't seem to care about one another. They're just not thinking of one another. Again, the perfect examples that are happening here that may not have picked up on the mic. I never know. Um, somebody's super loud out here. They're not considering that other people might be able to hear them. And then this person over here is constantly slamming their door. You know, it's just like, and it rattles my wall. Where do we get into that space of we're so in our own bubble that we have no consideration for other people, right? There it is again. So, you know, think about that. Where, where are people, um, where can we set healthy boundaries for one? But where can we start kind of uh, lifting out of our own bubble and looking around and making sure we are being conscientious of our fellow human beings? We're going to need a lot of patience today. All right. So we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.